Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I know I've been MIA, but let me catch you up on all of the things. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mel. Welcome. Um, I have been on an adventure in the last week, emotionally, peacefully. You guys all know it was my 41st birthday. I have been reflecting, trying to find my peace, trying to find courage. I've been sad. I'll talk a little bit about what I've been through and then I really want to get starting to hustle today. I'm motivated. That's what you're interested in and you've watched many of my videos. You guys, if you've missed out, I've actually been live um, three times within the last week. They are very, very long lives because I do share a lot about myself. Um, I have a lot of people up and open up to me and we just live our best lives together. You guys can go check out the lives. I share a lot of information about uh, my personal life, what I've been going through. I have not made a video in like a week. So yeah, I'm in a new area. I have a new start. I have a new perspective. I don't know. I'm still confused, but I am so happy here. It is so beautiful here. I have to go get an oil change today, so that's the first thing I need to do. And then we have to find our chi here in Santa Barbara County. If you guys don't know where Santa Barbara County is, it is on the entire um, central southern coast. It is gorgeous. The weather is perfect here. There's so many things here I'm excited to explore. Um, if you guys missed it, I took you to the beach. I got the courage to drive down here. I figured I'd start my 41st, 41st chapter by the beach. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. And that's so crazy to say. Now I'm on the coast. Well, I'm currently getting my oil changed at this cute little joint. It's called fast lane 10 minute oil change and I was first in line and now there's like five cars behind me so talk about perfect timing so I'm gonna get my oil changed and then I'm gonna just kind of drive around and see what kind of orders I can get power was out so I had to sit and wait for quite a while um, because I don't carry cash on me and their system was down so my oil changed was changed so I just sat and um just relaxed. Let me tell you guys how much I love this area. So far, people don't drive crazy here. Everyone's chill, laid back, 40 miles an hour. Nobody cuts you off. Everybody uses their turn signals. Everybody is so sweet here. There's no urgency. Uh, maybe on the highway coming here, but the towns are so cute. It is so nice out. It's only 70 degrees. Every single spot has outdoor patios where you can sit outside and eat your food. And every place has a palm tree. I'm in love with this place. There's so much to see here. There's so many cities within the county. So I'm really excited to explore, but I really do need to focus on making some money. So that is going to be the goal um, and I'm going to take my time because I have to just kind of figure out where everything is. Um, I'm really nervous if I ever get stuck in downtown Santa Barbara because it's all meter parking and parking. Don't want to deal with that so I think I definitely stay on the outskirts. Okay you guys I sat down and had a couple muffins so we're ready to go. Here's the first order we're shopping on Instacart. I don't have Walmart Spark out here, so I'm completely relying on um, Instacart, Amazon Flex, and um, DoorDash. We'll talk about that at more as the days go by, you guys, what I'm noticing in the changes. So we're going inside. We're shopping for two customers. We have a nice payout, nice miles. Each customer has 22 items, so we have one person with 22, the other person with 22. So Okay, you guys, so I have to update you on a couple things. Um, the last time I worked was last Sunday, I think, so it's been a hot minute. Um, today is day 7 of 60, June 19th on a Monday of my debt journey. The last time we worked, we were at 82, 84, 83, so we're just counting down from there. 
Those two orders I dropped off was $45.26. And I will do totals at the end of the day just to um, get myself in the groove of things. Speaking of in the groove of things, I forgot to record the car inside, all the things. So I'm sorry, you guys. I have to get back into the groove. I'm so not used to walking around and video recording myself anymore. Um, so I got to get in the groove. But I'm sitting outside Bristol Farms which I'm excited about because it's on Amazon Flex and I got I keep getting orders from there. Um, so maybe I'll get something and do a Bristol Farms Amazon Flex. That'll be interesting. I'm just trying to go with the flow and whatever orders I get and um, navigate this whole area. It's very, very mountain-esque. Even more so than Simi Valley and Santa Clarita because this has a lot of private roads off mountains type situation. I'm excited. I'm excited to explore. Just the cutest store ever. So I'm inside Bristol Farms and this place is crazy. They even have a, their own food service bar, pulp bar. Let me show you. It's called pulp bar. like a buffet <laughs> okay guys so I just spent an arm and a leg on this food but I got pretty much every a lot of things that were on the buffet so I got buffalo cauliflower there's baked ziti in here there's a mixture all on the bottom vegetarian mashed potatoes which I'm assuming it's cauliflower there's meatballs underneath there squash and zucchini broccoli and then I got a Gouda twist to go with it. It's a nice big bowl. This place is ridiculous inside. I only went in there because I keep seeing it on Amazon Flex and nobody grabs the blocks. Um, I saw five blocks this morning. And now that I know that this store is ridiculously overpriced, and expensive and gorgeous um, when you do grocery shopping on Amazon flex I guess you get tips so I would assume I'm gonna assume that if I take Amazon flex orders it would be a great idea especially picking up from here because this is my theory some people don't tip I don't think anybody would not tip from that store, but I could be wrong. They're also on Instacart. I'm excited about that store. I'm excited to try Amazon Flex, um, and hopefully it's all local and not 5 million miles, because all of the Amazon Flex shifts for this store are only an hour, an hour and a half. I got all this and I splurged because I have not had a home-cooked meal in a very long time. The last time I went to a restaurant, well, it was a few months ago, but I am, I can't eat a lot of things because of my teeth, you guys, so to be able to pick up my own food and just have a variety of different things that are soft and I can enjoy is the best feeling in the world. Oh my God, that's delicious. All of this is so delicious. My Californians, have you been to Bristol Farms? So delicious so overpriced but it's a beautiful store you guys i'm inside a target and it's literally two floors let me show you <laughs> this is the first reminds me of chicago but not we're in target i pulled up it's this little rinky dink building see even got an elevator <laughs> I swear you guys it's a sign you guys are either gonna laugh or think it's genius because I laughed and I thought it was genius how do you guys feel about me living in one of these it's a limo <laughs> it's perfect I can live in it and deliver groceries are you kidding me right now I could probably put a whole queen-size bed in in there 
I think I'm going to be the first one to start a new trend. And correct me if I'm wrong, I've never heard of it, but how about limb life? <laughs> no car life, no van life. We're living the limb life. Guys, you could take all the seats out of it. Have the whole back seat to put groceries in with some compartments and then the whole trunk. <sighs> could have a whole dog in there. Oh my God. <laughs> I want to go look for limousines.